29 Pretty Orchard Street. This is it. What's in there for me? There's been a fight here. This window was shattered with violent force. Someone's been pulled through it and dragged through the street. Who could have done that? So much blood. Whoever was killed got dried out. Across all these streets, to let her expire and be found here. You're surprising.
The marks on this woman's neck were made by the fangs of a vampire. This is the very flower my mother tossed on Mary's coffin. Someone is targeting my family. Her shoes and clothes are quite worn out. Only a golden watch in her pockets. Right then. It's a sick game. But given no choice in the matter, I might as well win it. This is despicable. Jonathan. What was that? I won't let you escape. You're very fast, but I'll catch you. They've all been butchered. still sense a presence. I can't believe I'm doing this.
Are you all right, Miss Shun? My name is Xiao Shun. This is the proper way to address someone in my country. I do apologize, Xiao Shun. Are you all right? Yes, I am. This is the only place where I can find some kind of serenity. Some way to remember my dear Matthew. My beloved husband, I die by your grave. We'll be together soon again. of perdition. Vicar, Vicar. <laughs> Jonathan is no demon. He's just a loving son returned from the dead. Like your Christ, Vicar. Mary, it has been you all along. Oh, it's me, all right, precious brother. Why did you lure me here? I'm gathering the family for a final reunion, all smiling, all dead. Thanks to the good Dr. Reed. Mary. Mother, say hello to your son. Hello, Jonathan. Mother, I... What do we have here, Mother? The prodigal son has lost his tongue. Our Jonathan always had the first and last word at dinner. The entertainer, the star of our show. Mary, let me explain. Shut up. It's my turn to do the talking. I have this nasty hole in my chest, Johnny. It needs to breathe. Right then. Speak. My prayers went so long without an answer. My husband killed in France. My child carried away by the flu. My brother promising to return in his letters, then disappearing in thin air. I went from hospital to hospital, cemetery to cemetery, grave to grave. I've lifted every stone in London, searching for an end to the nightmare. And there you were, in front of me, on a dark pier. It was the hunger. You know it now as well. The joy to have finally found you. I longed for your arms, a final happy ending to so much tragedy, to tell me all would be well again. As you did when we were children. It was this filthy dock where you greeted your sister. I dug a tunnel from my grave with my fingers and teeth. <coughs> Mary. I had taken your life before I realized it was you. I tried to kill myself. Hmm. But you failed in your attempt. We cannot die, can we? We are a plague. I've watched you, Jonathan. You pull the strings and sever them. I've done what I had to do. I did not choose this fate. But I will have my answers. <sighs> There are no answers, Doctor. There's nothing left but pain, and lies, and treachery. 
Mary, wait! Time to go, mother. Give my regards to my son. No! 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 This is what I do to those I cherish. Can you imagine what I have in mind for you? I'll destroy you! Finally, we hear the truth! Dr. Reed, admit it. You're a monster who takes joy in killing, who relishes the chase, the secrecy of it all. I'm still a scientist. I shall find a cure for this madness. You lie to yourself. Confess your sins. Over the slaughtered corpse of our mother! Are those tears, brother dear? Your heart still bleeds with emotion. My dead heart has dried. <laughs> you are mad. Oh, so that's what I am, Doctor. Mad? I was beginning to wonder. I've been hearing voices, one in particular. That of my dead brother. This is the reason I must kill you. Not for your betrayal. Not for our poisonous kiss. Not even for the lies you tell yourself! No. It's so that smooth and wicked voice will stop ringing in my head! I cannot let you kill again, Mary. <laughs> time to die, brother. And this time for good! You killed me, brother! Come to me, Jonathan. me again, sweet. You've burned away Nurse mind. You're a monster! Give me your blood, priest. Final thoughts are just to... <laughs> Come 
to me, Jonathan. in peace. Kiss me again, sweet brother. in peace, monster. Sean Hampton, don't expect the same mercy from me! You've killed me, brother! Kiss me again, brother.
It's time to bring this conversation to an end. Forever. You know I will not play this game. Calm now, Doctor. Like a rabid dog. Or think you're performing an autopsy. Don't be ridiculous. I'll kill them all. The kind Dr. Swansea. The sweet little lass with hair of red. I am the Harbinger, bringing your punishment. Mary... Don't you see? This is not me. Flesh that never ages. All nightmare, no dream. Bring it to a close. Let me sleep. I will find a cure, Mary. I swear it. Then, at last, I can forgive you. Blood, as I shed one last red tear for my fallen sister. I realize the entire world now revolves around this singular word. The epidemic that has stricken London is not the Spanish flu. It is transmitted through the blood via violent biting, turning survivors into frenzied immortals. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am a vampire, born anew into an age of death and pestilence. While plotting factions close in around me, I am sworn to find the source of this epidemic. I am convinced greater perils are still to come. I know the answers I seek are hiding in our blood.